game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw in second turn. Makes it look easy with the stop. Goalie plays it up. Days stick handling in his own zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Here's a backhander! Oh, what a pass save on the play! I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. The easy glove save by Hilberg. Zahornis ready to take the draw here on this power play. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the win off that draw. Moves the puck across to Poulain. Cutting to the front of the net. The Bears get a hold of the puck under man. Nice job to escape the zone. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Chance in front, and that's blocked in front. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Tries to feed it over to Poulet. Takes a bump and hangs on. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Ticket away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Shot just wide. Here's the chance to set up now. Moves it to Poulain. And now he moves it quickly to a lead. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Shot, can't get it to go. Picked up along the boards by McMichael. Here's a shot! Oh, there's a great stop by Helberg! Puck picked up by Zahorna. Passes it over to Poulain. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. 
Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting through. Wings the ball up the post. Scores! We all know that goals in the playoff series are so difficult to come by, James, as the ice closes up and everyone's playing urgent and physical. They got the first one here. That's a good way to start. The Penguins are first to light the lamp tonight, and let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back and forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's up one zip. The Penguins win that offensive zone faceoff. He was locked in there. Grabs the puck. Gets the puck in deep. Moves with the puck at the corner. Right Denies him in close. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Quick shot! He scores! And it's back to back tallies! Yeah, and they've been chomping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Man, I would love to freeze frame that shot, James. Ah, the torque on his stick to be able to get that shot off with that amount of force, incredible. The Penguins are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them and they've talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period. Stopped by the goaltender. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net. on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. They've got to be mindful to stay calm. I know the call went against them, but we're about to drop the puck here again. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's turned aside. Oh, what another stop! Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Hilbert's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Penguins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Pass it up ahead. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Poked away at center by Aiorio. Puts it in deep. Picked up along the wall by McMichael. Herbert's got it in the defensive zone. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. In the final moments of this period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Hood. Shot! Oh, major league block on the play! Breaking through center, they go on the attack. Sends it to the middle. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! This is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Penguins have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities, and as a result, have the lead. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. From the point, looks 
chance to make something happen. Here's a chance in front. Nowhere for that shot to go through. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, over to the third this one play. What do you make of this one? The Marlins are playing hard tonight. In particular, in the offensive zone, they've got that shot mentality. They're driving and attacking the net. Looks to get the puck over to Snively. Quick feed down low. Back to the blue line. Lays out to block it. Here's a short pass to Fadoon. Gaining momentum along the boards. Here's a shot and makes a save. And he slides it quickly to Fadoon. Wilkesbury Scranton's got possession at center. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Gains the zone along the right wall. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the official's call. More than one goal lead. There's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. The Bears will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. But well, they earn this a power play, James, to the far even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Taken along the wall by Vecchioni. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Hershey's got the puck against the wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. He might have a step here. All alone. Oh, I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deep and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. The Bears roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. McMichael's going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot. Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they tie it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Wilkesbury Scranton's won the draw in the neutral zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, that's going to be an interference call, and it's a deserved one. You can't impede the forward progress of your opponent, and that's what happens here. Things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Shot! Big time stop! Helberg's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point flank save. Receives the pass. And now he tries to get it across to Ensigns. Puck grab by Kopanen. From the point, they take control of it. Scarbosa's almost back on the ice. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. And that's off a stick. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Sends the pass over. 
And that shot dies in traffic. The Bears have it now. Picked off in the offensive end. Handles the puck. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. Slides the puck ahead to Ensigns. Works it across to Kopanen. Can't maintain possession. And they dump the puck into the forwards. They're going to switch it up. Quick shot! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Helper! Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. The Bears have it now. Smart defensive play there. And he slides it quickly to Ensigns. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Puts it on net. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Shepard. Here's the puck. Great save by Shepard. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. And the save. Scooped up along the wall by Butcher. Here's a shot, big save, just as time runs out. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. And we are underway here in the third, still even up. Oh, we see that goal, that goal here. Fadoon's moving the puck through his own zone. Looking to make something happen at center. Quick pass to Savorna. Takes that pass back at the point. And there's a great save by Shepard. Quick feed to Prisky. And they send it right back to him. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Helberg's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Feeds it down low. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Butcher. Takes the feed. Zahorn has got it in the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. The Bears have it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Christy. Moves it to LaPierre. Oh, comes up with a stop. Jostled off the puck. Hershey's got the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Fires it on that. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Helberg. And he takes the pass. Whistle blown, stopping the play. I think it's a pretty easy call. I mean, you can't get in the way of someone without the puck and impede on their forward movement. to move around and then firing and executing when you have it. Puck moves back to the neutral zone. Pass right back. Oh, look at the pass. Trying to gain a step. He's in the clear. Scores! Clinical! When it's a tie game, all you want to do when you're on the PK is make sure it remains that way. And it's an effective kill, but it winds up going north. They break the tie. They get the shorthanded goal. That's an effective PK. The Penguins have found the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum, and you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. Hershey's looking to break out. Across the line, down the left wall. And it's a quick pass to Rowe. Slides the puck down low. On the attack along the boards. Slip feed. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? 
The Bears take it from the side. Handles a puck at the point. Mosa puts it over to LaPierre. They are all over the puck here, James. I mean, they're opponent. They don't even have time to breathe. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Stretch pass. Jumps it in. The Bears gain possession along the wall. He got all of that one. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Flips it and moves it. Oh, what a stop by Helper. Hershey's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. The big question here, James, is what are you going to do next? You gave up a shorter, you got to find a way to get back in the game. What I mean by that is you have to reset, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally, and get back on track. Oh. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on them. Well, you're leading late in the game. You've got to find a way to kill the puck. You know what the best thing is to do? Make sure it's not in your zone. That takes the pressure off, and that's a smart dump right there. Huge steal in his own end. Wilkes Barre Scranton's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. Anson's has won the draw inside his own end. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. And he takes the feed. Rhodes got the puck. Hershey's got it from behind the net. Puck scooped up by Wall. Sends it to the middle. And that's stopped. Here's a short pass to LaPierre. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Bears are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. The Penguins' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a hold of the puck now. The Penguins take it across the line. Takes a shot, and he gets a trick of that to keep it out. Now a quick pass to Ness. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. And he takes the dish. Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. Wilkesbury Scranton's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Some smart heads up defensive play by Cuccioni. Forces the turnover in the offensive zone. The Bears gain possession. Puck moved over to McElrath. Back 
tracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. LaPierre's taking it from his own end. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. The setters will glide into the dot. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Well, there was certainly pressure on the center to win this draw. Coming off of the icing where everyone's tired. You get the win, you get out of your zone. The decisive win is always the hardest to bring home, but at least they're in the driver's seat now, Cheryl. Uh, it's the best place to be, isn't it? When you've got the lead in a playoff series, you just got to maintain it. You want to stretch the distance between you and your opponent, which means you don't want to give them any extra life here, and they'll have to find a way to...